Welcome everyone to episode 39 of the Missing Pieces podcast. If this is your first time watching or listening, my name's Greg and this is the podcast where I discuss life, Lego, and the pursuit of happiness. And I just love that intro. I actually took that from a comment from last episode from Let's Talk Sports, who says, I don't know why, but I always think you're gonna say life Lego in the pursuit of happiness. And I read that and I was like, that is so perfect because that is exactly what I'm striving for, not only in these episodes, but in my life. And I imagine that you are as well. That's what we're all trying to do. We're trying to find happiness and we're on this quest. Will we ever find it? I don't know, but I feel like I'm getting really close to it. And I'm, I'm pretty content as it is. This is like questioning everything about my life now. Maybe you are too. You're having like a, an existential crisis right now. You're like, am I truly happy? I don't know, but we're on that pursuit and I love that as an intro. If you guys, if this is your first time listening to this, I used to say life, Lego, and anything else that's on my mind this week, but how about the pursuit of happiness? I love that, I love that intro. So Let's Talk Sports, thank you so much for contributing that. I have a lot more viewer feedback to go through. You guys were going crazy last week, but that'll be a little bit later in this episode. Before we get into all the topics though, I have to give a special thank you to our newest Patreon, or patron, and that is Dottie Pink. Thank you so much for joining us, Dottie. She actually sent me a message. I always love getting the backstory on people, and I say this to any new patron, send me a message with your backstory. I wanna know how you came across this channel, how you found us, and what led you to the point where you're at right now where you signed up. And she was talking about how she's pretty much the same age as me. I'm not gonna to reveal too much because there's some personal stuff in there, but she is interested in starting a Lego channel, potentially, or a Minecraft channel. And you guys know me, I'm a guy that likes to put my passion onto other people, even times when they don't want that. And I, I sent her a nice message back trying to inspire her or motivate her to, to do that because I think anybody, no matter who you are, you have something to offer to the world. And if you wanna make a Lego channel or Minecraft channel, if you wanna make a Lego Minecraft channel, you can do it. Whatever your thing is, if you're excited about something and you wanna share it with the world, people will see that excitement and they will be inspired to, to go along with you on that journey, no matter what it is. And I think that's really awesome. We live in amazing times right now. Even though some things in this world, they may get you down, it, it, things may not seem good, there is still good in the world and that's what we're trying to do. The pursuit of happiness, that's, oh my gosh, I love that. So new intro possibly happening here. Let's talk about an apology. Apology of the week, apology attack coming through. Last week's episode, I apologize to anyone that's watching this on YouTube that was waiting for this episode all day Sunday and it never came. We had a little bit going on, and this is gonna be a big topic in this episode, the pursuit of happiness. Last weekend, I always record these episodes Sunday morning, which is probably not a good idea because I like to put them out like immediately when they're done. So these episodes tend to come out like sometime between, like late morning Sunday, early afternoon Sunday. I think I just heard Clark Man up there. Uh, but it, last Sunday, I recorded the episode, everything was good. It was a little bit of a longer episode. I switched over formats to my good camera again, of course, because you guys love that crispy quality. The audio sounds good. There's no annoying fans or anything buzzing in the background, so I'm happy with this. But it takes a considerable amount of time to take a seven gigabyte file and import it into iMovie, add my little music and cut the beginning and end parts out and stuff, and any times that I have to cut this because I only have 29 minutes and 59 seconds before this stops recording, so I have to manage that as well. It's tough being a podcaster, but I had that all done, I had it exported, and I went to upload it, and it was gonna be like two hours and 30 minutes to upload, which was, it's extremely long even for our internet. We I get the best internet that I can buy because it's so important to everything that I do. And I'm assuming because everyone's home, it was Sunday, things things tend to slow down. Everyone's trying to use the, the bandwidth or whatever. And ordinarily that would've been fine. I would've just kind of babysat it and you know made sure it went out. But in this case, we were going camping last Sunday. We were going up to Cody's parents' camp and I, I couldn't do that. So what happened was I just was like, yeah, I guess this is gonna be an episode that's coming out on Monday, which is a bummer because I think a lot of people like spending their Sunday afternoons and I've gotten messages about that where you guys like to just chill you like to listen to some missing pieces, you like to build some sets, you like to do whatever it is that you do. I should mention that if you prefer to listen to this, which this is actually very important in this case, this is available on Spotify and also Apple Podcasts and all the other platforms that you guys use. Most of you are on those two. But uh, I was able to put it out on there on Sunday. So if you guys listen to this, you could have had it Sunday, but for everyone else on YouTube, it came out Monday. And I'm sorry about that. I thought maybe I should start filming these like a day early or two days early, but I really love having that like right up to date thing. I want this to be as close to a live stream as it possibly can be. And I feel like recording these Sunday morning is just like the perfect time for me to do this. And I'm just like, 
I'm there. So when you're watching this or listening to this when it comes out, you're literally here with me right now. This is what's happening right now in my life. This wasn't from a week ago or two weeks ago. It's right now. So that was unfortunate. But what was fortunate was we had an amazing day. And that's a topic that I want to talk about here. I want to talk about not only pursuing happiness, but finding balance, my other struggle in life. That should be what it is. Where I talk about my life Lego and my pursuit of finding balance because that's really what it comes down to. But Sunday was such an awesome day. Weather was gorgeous. We went up to my to my in-laws camp and we took Roxy Bear with us, Clark Man. I took some RC trucks and we ended up going for a really nice bike ride, me and Mrs. Brickitech. We pawned Clark Man off with, with Grammy and Pap. And we took a really nice bike ride together and it was so nice being out there. And I just realized how much I love cycling. I don't have like a fancy pants bike. It was one that we, we went to a bike shop and we both got bikes years ago. You can watch the vlog on Greg's world if you want to see it. And we've, we've done bike rides on camera, but in this case, it was just me and Mrs. Brickitech and we just went for a ride and oh, it was so cool such a beautiful day and I just loved it so much. But that wasn't all. That's not all in the words of Billy Mays. We came back to camp and then I took Clark Man to the spot that I found when we were riding bikes. We were riding up this hill that like I realized I wasn't going to make it up because my legs were literally on fire going up this hill. One thing I'll say about bike riding is you kind of have to work your way up. We were riding on all this flat land and as we're coming back, Cody or Mrs. Brickitect was like, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to go back. I'm like, let me, let me keep going on. I'm having such a good run here. Let me try to dominate this mountain. <laughs> well, you, you probably expect it to go as it did. And I was going up it little by little and I'm like, oh, it kills. But when I was going there, I noticed off to the side, there was this really awesome little drop off area and there was a dude fishing down here. And I kind of went down this little path and there was these amazing rock formations, like these giant flat rocks. And there was like water in between them and all this stuff. And you're probably thinking now, like, Greg, who cares about rocks? Like, what are you, a geologist or something? Well, I'm a guy that loves RC stuff, and I'm a guy that has an RC rock crawling RC truck. And I have a kid that really loves that kind of stuff. So we went back to, I rode back to camp and I loaded Clark Man up in the truck. Mrs. Bricktech, for some reason, had no interest going rock crawling with us with the RC truck. I'm still trying to figure that out. But we went up there and we, we the fisherman was gone, which was great because I imagine this would have ruined his entire day. But we were we were driving the RC truck around on the rocks and putting underwater. Clark Man sunk it into the creek, into the current, which is uh, always fun. Luckily, this thing is completely waterproof, but it's just really cool. Uh, if you guys don't know what a rock crawler is, it's, it, it's a big old RC truck and it drives pretty slowly. It's got four wheel drive, crazy suspension. It can just go over over everything and it's it's like, it's off-roading and it's it's so much fun. And we shot a really awesome video there that'll be coming out in Greg's World in a bit. I have so many videos, guys. We've been going absolutely insane on this RC stuff, which I guess I'll talk about in a minute here. But we did that. And then uh, we had a blast with that. Clark Band got completely into the water. He was soaked. Uh, you go rock crawling, you're pretty much... Well, you're going to probably stay dry. But if you're a five-year-old, you're probably going to be jumping into the water, which he did. But we went back to camp after that. And then I loaded up Roxy Bear and we went to the big hole, which is the like the swimming spot. And we, uh, Clark, he went swimming. I went swimming. I uh, didn't want to because the water was freezing cold. But man, Roxy Bear, she was just loving life up there. You know, she's an old girl. She's had some surgeries here in the last six months or so that's really slowed her down, set her back. She's got arthritis but she's still my pupper dog and she's still got that lab mentality, which is I'm going to go into that Creek and I'm going to fetch out of there, whatever I can find, whether it's a rock or a stick, but she went in, she was picking up rocks. She's swimming like a, a mad lass. And it really like, it took me back to the early days. And again, if you guys go on Greg's world, you can find vids of Roxy bear, just dominating the water. She is a lab through and through. But uh, there were some other people up there uh, that apparently have a camp right across the street. And one of them uh, has a kid by the name of Benji, who's four. And Clark Man got to meet up with him and stuff. And they got a stick for Roxy Bear and they were throwing it in. And she was just going nuts, loving it. I explained to him that she just had surgery and we got to be a little bit easy on her. So they weren't throwing it too much, but she was really desperate for them to do that. She kept bringing the stick over and she would like drop it like right on their feet and then like pick it up and drop it, pick it up and drop it. Uh, if they picked up a rock, she was trying to grab it. It was so awesome to see those flashes of, of what rocks used to be. And I, oh, I wish so bad. And I, this went through my mind. I wish so bad that I could take Roxy's personality and everything about her and transfer it into 
like a a new dog, like a, a a younger a younger model or a newer model, I should say. I just love that dog so much. She's so amazing, and it's so sad to see her aging and and not doing what she can do uh, as well as she used to. But we walked back to camp. And as a result of all this, I should say the next two days, Roxy was completely out of commission. She was just done. She couldn't even go up the steps in our, or the stairs in our house to go to bed the, that night. Like she was just wiped out. But in my mind, I think for her, it was totally worth it because she got to live like 30 minutes of absolute bliss and she had to pay for it over the next two days. But she, you know, it was worth it, I think. And, and she... She loved it and I did too. But we have a video of that as well, so that'll be coming out too. I've been going crazy. I've been really loving my GoPro Hero 8. It's a I got it like a few months ago. And when we started doing these RC videos, I'm like, yeah, I'll take the I'll take the GoPro out and stuff because I love the wild the wide angle lens, the field of view, and the the colors are so punchy and it's it's just easy to film with and it captures everything, everything's in focus. I've been loving filming with that. So we just been doing like crazy RC videos, buying RC stuff. I got a Bigfoot RC truck, which you'll see a video on that as well. If you're on Patreon, you guys already saw that. It was funny though. I didn't know this was a thing, but when I say, let me ask you this, if you're listening to this, if I say, I just got a new Bigfoot or I'm going to show you Bigfoot, what do you think of? Do you think of a giant monster type Yeti looking animal like a Sasquatch? Or do you think of a monster truck? Because when I did that, when I talked about it in my Patreon stream, they're like, I thought you were going to bring out the, an actual Bigfoot. I'm like, no, no. But now that you mention it, it and I say a monster, I, I suppose you could see that. That was fun. Clarky and I played with that yesterday. We've got a couple of videos on that. Have I mentioned we've been making videos? Greg's World I don't, th I think I'm going to have a daily video on Greg's world for gosh, probably all summer. There's going to be a new video coming up there. We just been going crazy and loving this RC hobby. And that's something I want to talk about. I'm not going to talk too much about our RC adventures. Just know that we're, we're out there and we're doing it. The weather's been fantastic. And one video that I made this week here on Brickitect, we're building the Flintstone set, which we finished. And I need to kind of like do a uh, follow up on that and let you know, guys know what I think, but that video, we, we built the first part of it during Lunch and Lego, and then Clarky wanted to go out and run his RC truck. And there was speculation like, hey, are we going to finish this set? And it was like, no, we're not going to finish this set because it's 80 degrees outside, it's a sunny day, and it's not the time to be sitting inside building Lego sets. Not that there's anything wrong with that. If that's what you prefer to do, maybe you like cold weather better, maybe you just are an introvert like I am in some cases, and you just like being inside, maybe you just like listening to Missing Pieces all day. That's fine. But for, for me, like I wait all year for this weather to get good. And there's like maybe like a four month window where it's like just like nice out. I feel like that is where I need to put my focus. So this this week, you may have noticed that a little bit. Uh, I didn't put a video out on Monday when Missing Pieces went out. I didn't put a video out because we were out doing stuff that day. On Friday, there were, I felt massively guilty about this. And I know I shouldn't because most of you don't care. I have this thing in my mind and I, the everyday thing that we, we've we've run for so long. I'm like, I gotta have a video for these guys. People are looking forward to this video. But there's all these other things that I, that I wanna do and I need to do. Like we were donating a bunch of stuff to the American Rescue Workers on Saturday. So Friday I spent a day like getting everything in the garage and ready for them to, to clear out space and to clear up my, my life a little bit. As you can see down here, I, I, uh, it's a disaster still. But again, that's because my priorities have shifted. My priorities aren't in building a Lego set today necessarily. And I know that sucks to hear if you're a huge fan of this channel, but my priorities are to enjoy this time with my family and my, my son, especially because he's been going to school in a couple months. I got lots of time to sit in here and make Lego videos when Clark goes to school. I got lots of time to do monster truck videos, I suppose, too, but I want to do that with him. And we love it so much. And I, I still stand by it being my favorite hobby and most fun hobby that we do is, is running RC trucks and smashing them and breaking them and fixing them and all that fun stuff. But it's just... There's seasons in life, right? Like there's a season, like winter time, for example. Not a, not a traditional season, but there's seasons where maybe that this is the time where I'm building 15 Lego sets. Maybe there's a Star Wars month where we build 35 sets in 20 some days or whatever. But then there's a season where this is our passion and we 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 just want to do it at that time. And I don't. I guess I shouldn't feel guilty, and I don't really owe. I, I don't owe videos to people, but I feel like I do because I get messages and people are like. I look forward to that video today. This I was having such a bad day and that like, it really brightened me up. Shoot, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, Greg. We're not gonna talk about this. 
I make the videos for that kid. I'm assuming, you know, it could be anybody, it could be an adult. Maybe you had a bad day at work and you see, you see Clark's goofy face in a thumbnail and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna pop that video on for the next five minutes and I'm just gonna chill out and watch that. And maybe by the end of the video, you went from having this face to having this face and you're having a smile. And I think that's freaking awesome, man. So I'm sorry I let you guys down, but just know we're out doing other things. And I promise you that, that we, we are, we're producing content. It just may not be the Lego content that you guys are used to. Uh, it may be some RC stuff. And it, it of course, isn't gonna be on this channel. I've had people be like, no, Greg, don't turn this into an RC channel. Don't worry about that. Greg's world is my channel where I dump anything that I love to do. And, um, uh, it's, it's gonna be there. So if you guys wanna see all of our RC adventures, which are, are, are we're, we're going crazy, it, it's all over there. The link's down below in the description if you wanna do that. If you're on Apple Podcasts, you're gonna have to do a little more work to find it, but just type in Greg's World, you'll find our channel. What else did we do this week? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be pretty much all the viewer feedback from last week, but we finished a certain movie series that you guys may uh, be interested in, and one that I'm massively interested in. You guys already know, it's Harry Potter. Oh. Where did I leave you guys off at? Were we watching, had we started the final series, the final movies, The Deathly Hallows? I, th I think that's where we were kind of leaving it off last week. I forget where I was. Shoot. I don't know. It, it's so hard to remember because like I said last week, what I was planning to do was I was going to talk about a Harry Potter movie each week and be like, yeah, I really love The Chamber of Secrets because of this and this and this and Prisoner of Azkaban was amazing and it's my favorite movie in the series, which it was. And I intended to do that, but we just were so into it that we literally in, I think, like a 10-day time period. Oh, God. Don't tell me my screen time. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the screen time. Don't. I got to turn that alert off. We end up watching all the Harry Potter movies in like 10 days. And oh, I love it. I love it so much. How? Why didn't you guys tell me it was so good? How could you let me go all these years of my life without watching the Harry Potter movie series. And I know you guys are going to talk about the books and we're going to get into that. You don't have to comment about the books yet because there's lots of people that did that last week. And I'm going to talk about that. What is my favorite Harry Potter movie? You may ask. I think it's, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to say it's the last two movies. I know some people aren't down with it because it's like, it's kind of, well, I was going to say it's dark, but a lot of the series is dark and there's a lot of destruction and death. And each of the movies has a couple little things that are kind of nitpicky or whatever, but those last two movies I really loved because it felt like it was like, it was hitting the fan. I got like almost like a Lord of the Rings vibe out of it or almost like a Game of Thrones vibe out of it a little bit. Like when it's like hitting the fan and, and you're, you're going into battle. I love that they went from these little kid wizards just entering into school and uh, t to like saving the school essentially and saving the world more or less. Like it's, it's an epic story of a kid that I guess felt unwanted and alone and somehow befriended all these people and became a hero. And I think that is just, I think it's what we all aspire to be, right? Like Harry Potter was definitely, well, I don't know if he was pursuing happiness. I guess he was a little bit. He, his was more of a duty than anything, but wow, such a good series. Now I am, I'm not reading the books yet, but I am now obsessed with watching YouTube videos with like analysis of each of the the, the movies and different parts of them and different characters. It's kind of wild. Once I watched like one or two, YouTube was like, this guy is a Harry Potter detector. <laughs> Every single recommendation I have is Harry Potter and all the characters and cast, which is helpful because like many of you will say, the books I feel like have so much more detail in them and the movies, they, they get that through a little bit, but it's a little confusing in some cases because they're trying to stuff so much into maybe, maybe a two and a half hour movie, which is a long movie. And... I like getting like the backstory on the characters and like they actually have text from the book and how these things all work out and wow, so good. So I guess that, uh, that sums it up. I love Harry Potter. If you would have asked me a month ago, I would have said that someone hacked my channel in saying this. If I saw the word, I become a Harry Potter detector in the title of a video, I'd be like, nope, nope, not going to happen. I'm not really into that stuff, but dude, I'm into it. What else can I say? I just, I just love it. I love it a lot. And uh, Clark Man gave me an idea today. You'll see it in tomorrow's video. Clark Man gave me an idea today on something that we should potentially do that I think the Harry Potter detectors heads would just like explode in a good way, a good way, of course. Harry Potter, amazing. You're gonna ask him about the Lego sets. I think I'm going all in, boys. I think we're going all in on Harry Potter. I already have the Great Hall, which I, I actually bought two of them to modify to make one. I've got Aragog's Lair today. 
I may have gotten a couple more sets thanks to Father's Day, which again, you'll see the video tomorrow. I'm not going to spoil it. I could put it out now, but I think this is fine for Sunday. And that leaves Monday open for us to go run some RC trucks or do something crazy or maybe make a video for the next day and try to get a little bit ahead. That way it doesn't come down to, oh crap, it's Friday and I don't have a video and I need to do this stuff and I don't want to let you guys down. So I'm going to do my best for you, but Harry Potter, excellent series going all in on the sets, for sure. That takes us to our next topic, which is Gamer Tech News. Not much happening there. Again, most of our time has been spent outside. We've had this streak of amazing weather here in Pennsylvania. It's just been like sunny, nice, and beautiful outside. So I've been doing much gaming, but there was one day that Clark Mann and Mrs. Brickitect went to her friend's house to go swimming, her friend's father's house to go swimming. And unfortunately, I wasn't invited to that, which is fine because it was like the, the girl, her daughter and her baby and Clark and Mrs. Brickitech. So it was almost like a, a play date of sorts with two girlfriends hanging out. So I would have been very, it'd been very weird for me to be there. I'm still upset though, because I love swimming. And uh, Clark, he had, he added a girlfriend to his girlfriend army, supposedly. But that day I did a little bit of gaming on uh, Forza 7, which is my newest Xbox One game. I was going to grab it. Actually, I have it right here if you're watching it. Forza 7, Forza Motorsport 7 for Xbox One. I picked this up for $10 from Best Buy. Waited forever. Deal with tech doesn't just exist in the world of Lego. It exists in video games as well, as, lo as well as backlog tech. It exists in, in uh, video games as too. This game though, oh my gosh. I've been so used to playing like arcade style racing games and I've been playing this game called Wreckfest for Xbox, which is a real hoot, a real hoot. Uh, Forza 7 is very sim-like and I had a blast playing it. I live streamed it on my Twitch channel and I'm uploading a couple videos here and there on uh, on my Gamer Tech channel, which is our gaming channel. and Actually, the, my first car that I got I ended up getting like a Ford Focus RS and they have different vinyl or graphic packages that you can choose in the game. And I made it a Traxxas one, which Traxxas is uh, an RC truck brand and the, the newest truck that we got, the Bigfoot one is Traxxas too. So I'm enjoying that game. I'm gonna play quite a bit more of that. There's all these different series and there's all these wild vehicles in it. Like you can drive trucks and like side-by-sides, like UTVs drive. I don't think there's motorcycles in it, but it's pretty wild. It's it's a fun game and I, I'm going to do a little more of that. It's kind of fun just to sit down for like 15 minutes and run a race or whatever if you have some free time and stuff. And I don't know. I like racing stuff apparently. So that's a thing. Another game that I was thinking about getting back into, I played a little bit with Ryan, uh, was Rocket League. I know some of you guys are probably into that. I thought that'd be kind of fun because it is almost like RC and I thought maybe Clark could play it as well, even though he probably would be almost as bad as me at it but he, uh, he can do that. I'm starting to, in Minecraft, we did a little bit of that yesterday. Clarky and I sat down and did building your ideas in Minecraft and we had the idea and I don't know if the video's out yet. Oh shoot, I have a mail time that needs to, or a letter attack that needs to go out. I could have put that out Friday. I have that all filmed and everything, but I have a letter attack where someone suggested that we build an ark in Minecraft, like filled with all the animals. And the funny thing about this is someone I actually had that idea like the time before when we were playing the game. So it was almost like I had the idea, someone else had the idea at the same time, wrote a letter to me and it came together. So I felt like it was meant to be. So I'm working on building an ark in Minecraft where I'm gonna put all of the animals from the game inside the ark and it's gonna be wild. I'm excited about it. I spent the entire first part of the episode that we just recorded on it, literally building the, the bottom of the boat and sucking all the water out of the boat using sponges, which was insane. I had no idea it was going to be that time consuming. So at this point I have a bottom of a boat and it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm excited about that, but that's pretty much it for gamer tech news. Not too much happening over there. I didn't like buy anything or do anything. And yeah, just been outside, I guess. Uh, one other thing here though, before we get into viewer feedback, I know this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, but an idea tech episode or an idea tech idea. This is kind of like an extra thing I put on here where you ever get like shower thoughts where you're just like in the shower and you're like, oh, that'd be so good. Or, oh my gosh, I need to do that. Or that's an idea. Or maybe I can build this thing. Well, in this case, I have the idea that I really love this format. I love just sitting down and talking to you guys. And I would love to do it live where it's kind of just like us like chatting back and forth as like, not so much as a structured podcast, but like you make it what you want it to be, sort of like the late night radio show. That was a similar thing where it was just me sitting down, of course, like late in the night, early in the morning sometimes. And I would just like read the chat and respond and talk about whatever it is that was on your guys' hearts as opposed to what's on mine. Because I think we all know that it's much better to, in, to have other people in your life that can bring things like into your life as opposed to you just like living in your little bubble, right? So my idea for Idea Tech was similar in, in, in the vein of, late night radio show, but I wanted to not necessarily do it late night. 
I want to do it just like any time. So I thought about my series breaking it down, which is my Q&A series, where typically I would take a Lego set and I would sit there and be tearing it apart in like a, in like a time lapse motion or whatever, speed, speed, speed tear down. And I would answer your guys' questions while that was happening. So I was breaking down the sets while breaking down your questions. And I thought, why, why do I necessarily have to be tearing that apart? Why can't I just be set up here like this, posted up with my microphone and answer your guys' questions or talk about whatever. So what about a weekly series just called Breaking It Down where I get on like say Thursday afternoon, which I think is like my only day that I free at this point. And we just like chit chat about whatever. I think that'd be kind of cool. It might inspire some things for missing pieces as well. Maybe you guys will give me like some type of little, uh, little brain nugget to chew on. And I'm like, oh, life Lego in the pursuit of happiness. That's genius. Again, that's why I love feedback. And there's a, it's great to get feedback through a live stream. And I thought that might be fun to do, especially like, like I said, like a Thursday afternoon, people are maybe you're home and you're just chilling out and you want to talk about whatever you want to talk about the new Lego sets. You want to talk about something outside of Lego. You want to talk about anything. I'm pretty much open to it. So that's an idea that I had. I might do like a little pilot episode. Uh, I could also, for you guys that love listening to stuff like this, like I had people like requesting more missing pieces episodes, which I feel like we're kind of limited to like one per week. I could take breaking it down and make it up its own podcast series. It'd be very easy for me to do. It wouldn't be nearly as structured as this where we're kind of like going through like a list of things and talking about my week, but it could just be like uh, be all over the place, just like me. <laughs> But yeah, so that's, that's kind of my week there. That's pretty much a summary of it. But we do have a lot of feedback on last week's episode, which uh, first of all, again, I apologize for it being late, but this one is from Kelly Hammond, who says, I was a little disappointed when I didn't see the podcast in my sub feed yesterday. I usually listen on my way home from church, but it worked out. Your speed talking was a perfect accompaniment to my run today. Thanks. So there you go. It came out a little bit later. Again, Kelly, if you prefer to listen to it, especially if you're running, you can listen to it as an actual podcast if you have it on your phone. If you have, I'm assuming you probably have Apple Podcasts if you have an iPhone, but if you if you want to download Spotify, it's on there as well, and you can listen to it. And that would have been out Sunday. Um, and you don't have to use like your uh, your data. I don't know if that's even a thing that people care about anymore. Does everyone have unlimited these days? We have very limited, limited data because we don't go anywhere, do anything for the most part. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to get like the cheapest plan out there, Dealatect. But yeah, I'm sorry it was late, Kelly. I, I would love to accompany you on your ride home from church, but I I done goofed. I should make these videos earlier and maybe someday I'll learn my lesson. But here, this is recorded Sunday morning. You're gonna be watching this like an hour after it goes out, of course. Uh, we have uh, another comment. Most of these are gonna be about Harry Potter, as I mentioned earlier. First one is G Brick Films, who says, no, Vader, no. No, I just lost the one person who doesn't like Harry Potter. Now I'm the only one. Oh man, you're gonna get fired. You're gonna get you're gonna get shots or you fired from the Harry Potter detectors. Also, Kelly, I'm sorry that I talk so fast. I talk fast when I get excited about things, and I'm usually excited about pretty much everything that I talk about here. So slow it down, Greg. You know you're you're, you're definitely uh you're out for a run. Maybe you want that, like you want that pumping, but some people are just kind of trying to relax here and you don't need Greg just, just going crazy on you. So I'm sorry. The Daily Brick has our next comment here, or feedback. It says, Greg, if you read the Harry Potter books, you'll appreciate the set so much more. Trust me. I'm a Harry Potter detector myself. I'm about to get Hogwarts Castle and I'm collecting every Wizarding World minifigure. Dang, son. I do want to get the Hogwarts Castle. Oh my gosh, that is a gorgeous set. Now that I know like all the little Easter eggs and stuff that are in it, I want it. I want to buy it. I It's out of stock everywhere. I can't find it anywhere. I think Amazon had it in stock for like five seconds earlier this week. I saw it pop up as a deal and I went to go get it. I'm like, I'm willing to spend $400 on this set. Like take my money, Lego. And it was it was out of stock. It's like six or $700 otherwise. But Brick a Lot told me he, he has it and he thought it'd be a great set to kind of sit down and just like build a bag of it on a live stream and build another bag, another bag here and there and stuff. And yeah, I, I would love that to be a part of my life. I think it'd be great on display and I'd love to share that with you guys. Maybe we can talk about Harry Potter and all the, the great stuff of it as, as I build it up and you guys can, can inform me about all the great stuff from the books, which I haven't read yet. Um, but yeah, this, this is another comment here from Lego fan that I think we got a little bit of. He says, I think is the first one of many that I got. You should watch Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. It's the same world as Harry Potter. And I think I should. I watched Fantastic Beasts a long time ago and the movie didn't connect with me. I was like, ah, I don't, I don't get it. And it's probably because I didn't watch the Harry Potter films. So I want to watch that first one, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. 
That one's not available anywhere to stream from what I can tell, but the follow-up one, which is, is it The Crimes of Grindelwald? That one is available on HBO Max, I believe. So I just need to find that movie and then I can watch both of them and I can report back if I'm a, a fantastic beast detector. But yeah, I do want to see that. I feel like that's a good follow-up to, to what we've watched and I just want to, I still want to live in this world. I wish there were more Harry Potter movies. And I was thinking like, I know J.K. Rowling or Rowling is probably over it at this point. After you write seven books about the same subject, you're probably like, yeah, I'm probably going to go do something else now. How about the new class or the next class? of the wizards. Like you could do Harry's son and all the stuff they do. I mean, there could always be some new rise in evil and whatever. And maybe she needs to sell it to Disney. That's what, that's what could happen. Sell it to Disney. And then it'll like, just come back just like star Wars. Like George Lucas is like, I'm good. I'm done. And Disney's like, cha-ching, cha-ching. The mouse has dollar signs for eyes. That would be cool. But I'd love to see more Harry Potter stuff. Jasper's comment here says, great video quality, thank you, uh, at, at the sacrifice of it being out on Sunday. It says, did you know there's also expansion movies of Harry Potter? It's called Fantastic Beasts. It's the same Harry, it's in the same Harry Potter universe. What are your thoughts on the PlayStation 5 and games? Can Clark please talk about his favorite superheroes and his favorite supervillains? W Clark recorded a podcast this week, by the way. I forgot to mention that. We were riding, we were in the car over to play basketball, which, ah, oh, dang it. I completely forgot to talk about an entire topic this episode. I'm going to have to save it for next time. It's a way of life that I've been living right now, and it goes along with the whole balance thing. I'll talk about it next week as like the intro to next episode. But uh, yes, I am aware that there are uh, there's the, the Fantastic Beasts in the same universe. My thoughts on the PlayStation 5 and games. This I love how this kind of covers everything that we talk about, whether it's movies, games, Lego. PlayStation 5, I don't know what to think of it. Personally, and this is going to get people triggered, and I'm a PlayStation detector, I think the thing is is hideous. I don't like it. I don't like the, the extra plastic. I like a minimalist design, which is why I like the new Xbox One Series X or whatever it is, Xbox Series X. They really need to work on their, their branding. That thing's just a big square, which could be ugly, but it's at least it's a square where I can stack a whole bunch of crap on top of it. And I guess I could probably do that with the PlayStation 5, but I don't like the white on it. I've seen renders of it where it's all black. I think it looks better black. I like my PlayStation 4. I think I'm happy with it, but I am going to be getting a new console when the new consoles come out to enjoy. And uh, at this point, I'm probably, I'm probably jumping ship. I'm probably going to go Xbox because I love the Game Pass thing. I love the idea that you can just do Netflix of games. Essentially, they have a whole bunch of games on there. You can play for, what is it, like $7 a month or whatever when you find a deal. And I like that. Um, PlayStation probably has better exclusives, I want to say, which could be important. But either way, you're going to get a lot of game. You're going to have a lot of fun. Just pick your favorite thing. I do. I did get a new Xbox controller. I made a video about that on my gaming channel. This is sleek. This is nice. It's hard to find Xbox controllers these days. I think Microsoft's like, yeah, we're moving on to the next thing. And everyone's like, I need a new controller. I got a second one for Clark Man to play with. Let's go on to the next topic. Uh, we'll just try to have Clark Mann do favorite superheroes and supervillains. He's probably going to say Batman is his favorite. Uh, who's, who does Clark like as a villain? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask him about that one. I'll try to have him record one of those. Uh, this this message is from Solil. Hopefully I'm saying that right. S-O-L-E-I-L. -L. She says, or he says, if you're interested, when you finish Harry Potter, you could read the eighth Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. My reading skills have just completely fallen apart. You can read the eighth book, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. It's good, but not as good as the originals. It's written up as a play, but it's good enough to read. I would do that. Of course, I'd read the other ones first. I think I'm just going to get the first Harry Potter on on like audio format because I can be doing other stuff. I listen to podcasts quite a bit, and I thought, why not just do the audio book of Harry Potter? Hopefully, that's okay for you Harry Potter detectors. There's no pleasing you guys. I mean, at first, you guys are like, you got to watch the movies, and I do, and you're like, you're not a true Harry Potter detector. You need to read the books. And then I'm going to read the books, and you'll be like, you're not a true Harry Potter detector. You need to... I made this joke the other night. I don't think it's going to hit as well here. You need to sneak into J.K. Rowling's house and steal her her diary from 1985 to find out when she first came up with the idea for Harry Potter and find out his backstory. And I'm like, bro, just be thankful that we've made it this far. We've made it really far here in this whole Harry Potter thing. I'll read the first book as an audio book, if you want to call that reading. But I appreciate the advice on the eighth Harry Potter book, The Cursed Child. Ooh. Fancy. I don't know when that takes place, but it sounds kind of cool. Next one is from Evan, who has a Harry Potter comment. It says, now that you're into Harry Potter, you should totally look into that giant Hogwarts set. 
the number of references from the movie slash books make it such a fun build. It's easily my favorite Lego set I own. Evan, I'm sold. You sold me on it. I was already sold, but you like double sold me on it. So if anyone finds it in stock anywhere for MSRP, I'm willing to pay full price, which I know is unheard of for the most part here on Brickitect. Let me know if you find it and send me like an Instagram message or whatever, uh, or email or whatever and say, Hey Greg, it's in stock. So I, I know, and I'll, I'll, I'll snag, I will buy it and I'll, I'll build it up with you guys. And we can talk all the Harry Potter that you want to talk as I build that massive setup. If you guys haven't seen it, it's it's called the Hogwarts Castle. Look it up, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. It really is, especially after you've watched the movies. Next comment we get is from Madison, who I, I've let down. Madison says, dang, Greg gets into all the things I don't enjoy. Oh well, you can't please everyone. Great episode, I always love hearing about your week and your pursuit of happiness. I added that last part. Yeah, you're probably talking about my gaming, RC stuff, and Harry Potter. Those have been like the three themes lately. And I'm sorry if that's something that you have no interest in. Hopefully this is engaging enough for maybe you to listen, listen in anyway, even if it's not something you're directly influenced by or, or want to be influenced by. But I don't know. It's just, I, it's just where I'm at right now. And the thing is like two weeks from now, it could be something completely different. So, so just stick around. You never know. Missing pieces is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Anyways, now that I've embarrassed myself, uh, Brad's life says, Hey Greg, I'm looking for an RC truck on Amazon. What one do you have or recommend? I'll link, I'll do a pinned comment on this. If you're looking for an RC truck and you want to get into the world of RC stuff, there is this truck that I bought for like 120 bucks on Amazon last summer that we have literally beaten the shiznit out of like massively. I've put like maybe $17 into repairs in this thing. It's fast as heck. We've smashed it, crashed it, flipped it. You've, we've done, put it underwater. We've literally done everything to this truck. And I feel like for $120, it is literally the best buy in RC truck purchases. It literally is. I, I think Easy's boys, he bought it for his son after he saw us have it. And they've, they've been happy with it as well. So I'll do a pinned comment down below. It's gonna be an a, a affiliate link through Amazon. So you can use that link to buy the truck. Or if you wanna support a brother here, uh, you can click that link and literally buy anything on Amazon, anything that you want, if you go through that link, Amazon will pay me like, I think it's like 3% commission on that. So if you are really been itching to buy that new Harry Potter set that I reminded you of, like, oh, I love Harry Potter too. Or if you wanna buy the movies on Blu-ray, use that link down below and, and it'll take you over there and, and, it, and it really does help. So thank you guys for doing that if you do, but if you're looking for an RC truck, that's the one, that's the one I recommend. Very, that's my testimonial on it. I should probably do a review on Amazon actually, because that could be helpful for other people. Be like, you won't believe what this truck has been through, but nonetheless, let's let's move on past RC trucks. I promise I'm not gonna talk about RC trucks quite as much going into the future. This next comment is from Bat Talk, who's always, always uh, ever present on the channel. He says, oh gosh, this one's gonna get people triggered. He says, the question now is, Harry Potter versus Star Wars. Let the drama commence. Movies, Lego, characters. That can be what you guys talk about in the next episode if you wanna talk about that. Harry Potter versus Star Wars. I'll say right now, I don't know if it's just because it's super fresh in my mind. I like the world of Harry Potter a little bit more than Star Wars, I think. But I love them both, even though you guys think that I don't. I, I think they're both really great series, but I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. Harry Potter or Star Wars? The two, the clashes of the two classes of, of detectors on this channel. We've got Harry Potter detectors, we've got Ninjago detectors, and we've got Star Wars detectors. Those are the three things that exist here on this channel in my experience. From talking to you guys on live streams and, and meeting with you guys when we do community streams, that's what it is. So we're gonna have two of the factions go against each other here on which one is the best. Let the drama commence, as Bat Talk says. And we, oh, we have another one here. The very last comment is from Victorian Guard, which I love the name. It says, that's great, but are you a Lord of the Rings detector? Oh, that's coming in too. I don't have any Lord of the Rings detectors on here, I don't think. At least they're not very vocal. They must be like the silent ones living in their little hobbit holes or whatever, or hobbit huts. Maybe the Eye of Sauron got them. That's pretty much all I know. We watched all the Lord of the Rings movies a while back. We watched them all in rapid succession. It was a lot to, to take in. I would consider going back and doing that, but I think my next series, if you guys are curious, we're gonna go into the Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack Sparrow. I wanna watch those movies again. They're good for Clark Man too, plus some really great Lego sets. So it's like uh, kind of kind of getting getting into that and just enjoying it, man. The pursuit of happiness through movies, it really is. And um, I don't know, I'm just I'm really enjoying this this chapter that I'm in right now of my life where we're we're doing our Lego thing, we're watching these epic movie series, we're running RC trucks. 
getting more physical activity. That was the thing that I wanted to talk about this week, but I didn't. I've been starting each of my days with doing like getting up early and me and Clark, man, we go and we ride our bikes or we go for a walk, we play some basketball and I love doing that. It really starts my day off right and gets it going really well. And I'm going to talk more about that next week. I'm not going to take too much more of your time here, but uh, I want to thank you guys all so much for hanging out with me here today. Thank you. Hopefully this is uh, hopefully this is out when you expect it to be out. If all goes well, it will be. Thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to all the stuff that I talk about. Even if you're like Madison and it's like you don't enjoy it, you still enjoy the episode. I appreciate you sticking with me on that. Again, things are going to change as time goes by. And I'm excited to have you guys along with me on this journey. And I'm, I'm curious about your journeys as well. So if you'd like to share that as some feedback, whatever you're into or whatever you want to talk about next week, Leave it as a comment down below. It really does help me out because I can only talk about so many things. And sometimes you guys have really awesome things to talk about. You can talk about Harry Potter. You can talk about whatever. I guess let's let's move away from Harry Potter for now. We've talked about that for so much. Whatever it is, whatever you guys want to talk about. Let me know what you think about my new series idea where I do breaking it down. It's kind of like what we're doing here, I guess. And uh, yeah, I guess on that, if you want to support this podcast, there's a couple ways to do that. You can use that Amazon link, of course. You can leave feedback, of course. You can join us on Patreon like Dottie did, which is a huge help, massive help. Or um, you can subscribe and leave a, a review on Apple Podcasts or possibly Spotify. I don't know if you can do that on there, but those are all the things you can do to, to help out. If you appreciate what we do here, you can, of course, leave a like on this video if you want. You don't have to do any of those things. If you're just literally listening to this and you got enjoyment out of it, that's enough for me. So on, on that, guys, thank you so much for, for everything that you've done for us here and, and allowing us to, to, to be here and sitting here and doing this with you. Uh, I hope to find you. Is this how we're ending it? I hope to find you. Maybe someone can find a, a really good outro for me too. But for now, I hope to find you in the next Missing Pieces.